best where I will bring you the best of the best and more well we are at the end of the road the 25 days of cookies is about to end I'm on my last two cookies and I'm gonna do a two-part video today and tomorrow where um, you will see the last two cookies the last two cookie wrap-ups and I have a special guest with me today my mother-in-law Doris Duar she is you. here with Thank me you. today Thank she you. has been enjoying sampling all the cookies oh, yes. during this 25 days of cookie and I'm glad she's here with me today oh, yes. and so we are going to make this cookie butter today the the first part of the video is cookie butter um, because I made so many cookies and me and my family could not consume all of the cookies so I had lots of cookies left over uh, because sometimes you end up with old cookies even if they're not homemade you'll look you'll open a package of cookies and forget them there and then excuse me you're left with stale cookies what do you do with them well I found a couple of awesome recipes to show you what you can do with those cookies so that you don't waste them so the first two recipes are going to be cookie butter. So I know everybody knows what cookie butter is because everybody saw it in Target. I mean, in Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, I think, and Biscoff has a cookie butter. And so um, I wanted to find some uh, recipes that would complement my two um, cookies. And this is a combination of my uh, corn flake my um, cornflake cookie and my pecan, pecan ball cookie and this one is um, a shortbread cookie a shortbread lemon cookie so this is the recipe you take two cups of your cookies a half of, a half of a stick of butter and a half a cup of evaporated milk so let's get that going so do you have any favorites from the 25 days of cookies mom do you remember which one was your favorite? All of your cookies. <laughs> favorite. I love them all. I tried them all and I love them all. They're but great. you don't have one that stands out as as better than the others. Because I have to tell you, you know, one time I made a cookie and it didn't look the best, meaning I didn't have it all dressed up yet. And she looked at that cookie and she said, Oh, Naomi, you go going to have that cookie. I'll try it later. I'm a little full. And then when I got its dress on and got it all dressed up, she said, Oh! Yeah. Oh, this cookie look. Oh, I, I need to try good. that cookie. Yeah. I need to try that cookie. That was my, my, no, that was my stuffed red velvet cookie. Oh, yes. That was oh, my yes. stuffed I red velvet that cookie. <laughs> but they're all so good, you know. All of them are so, so. good. That's why I'm looking good. Because of those cookies. They're the best. Try them and you will see what I'm saying. <laughs> so, I put all of the ingredients in the stand mixer. And you can put them in a food processor, whatever you like. And just give it a mix. I'll just give it. it a mix to combine. And then, you will have this this lovely cookie butter and in the second part video I'm going to show you some other ways you can use this cookie butter in addition to just as a snack on fruit or um, or you can add it to you know ice cream <laughs> you can do many things with it but I want to give it a little taste this is the lemon shortbread cookie cookie um cookie butter so i'm gonna give it a little taste that's good give me another spoon so i let your mom try i'm gonna try it on a piece of apple give me my spoon back so i can try it on some apple are we ready okay so now i tasted it plain so now i'm gonna taste it on some apple Delicious. 
It's definitely delicious on this apple. Um, probably better on a Granny Smith apple because you have that that tanginess. And this is sweet. So now we're gonna do our one that has nuts in it. This is the lemon cookie butter. And like I said, you can use this. And you can even add a couple of other ingredients, which I'm going to do in the next video, and show you how to make a little cake with it, without eggs. So now, we're going to our second one. And you can use the same bowl, and we're going to do the same thing. Two cups of cookie crumbs, a half a stick of butter, melted. A half a cup of canned milk. All right, all the ingredients just go right in. You can put this in a food processor, or you can do what I'm doing and just put it in your mixer. It doesn't have to be a stand mixer; it could be just a regular mixer. And then we're just gonna give this a little mix. Get it all mixed up. This 25 days of cookies has been amazing. I have made so many different cookies. I've learned so many new recipes. Uh, some that I would definitely be doing again and again. Um, just because there were such good recipes. So I'm going to be doing that again and again for years to come. <laughs> so. <laughs> Watch out for some other videos using the same cookie doing something different. So, because cookies are so versatile. You can turn a regular chocolate chip cookie into what? A, a chocolate chip cookie sandwich with a filling in the middle. Could be ice cream in the middle. Well, what do you think you'd like in the middle? Maybe some peanut butter? She might be a little biased. Mm -hmm. She's a little fan. That, that, <laughs> she that, could that, be a little biased. That's the truth. That's the truth about the cookie. Just try it and you see. You will go with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the one that has nuts in it. It's kind of like a shortbread, but it does have nuts in it. And it also has the cornflake cookie in it, too. So it has cornflakes. So let me try this one. It's more nutty. Let's see what an apple has. Yes, you may. Hold on one second. This is cookie butter. So I don't know if you've ever had cookie butter before, mm. but I like it with the nuts. Here's the apple. Try it with the apple. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try it with the apple. Let's see what it tastes like. Tastes good. I know. With the apple or without the apple? It's definitely one you should try um, if you happen to have extra cookies. <laughs> because that's, that's, that's what brought all of this on. Because I had so many cookies. And guess what? You can put this in a decorative jar and give this as a gift. You know, put it in a basket with something, with some fruit. You know, put it in a basket with some fruit and give it as a gift. You know, people are always doing... Um, and gifts of something that they made and they have so many beautiful decorative jars that you can put this in put this in a jar put a pretty label on the front of it and give it as a gift okay. you can also add some fruit to this if you want to change the the flavor up a little bit you want to give it a little zing or something put some fruit in it but these two recipes um i am sure um if i ever run into this issue where i have too many cookies I'm sure I'll make some more of this cookie butter. 
So I hope you try this. Thanks for watching Erica's Best. Thanks for watching the 25 Days of Crypto Cookies. I have one more video to show you of what to do with leftover cookies. And please remember to like, sh like, subscribe, share, and, and comment. Please give me some comments. 2021 is here. It's going to be here in a few hours. And I want you to make sure that you continue watching me in this coming year. I'm going to be bringing you awesome uh, baked goods, cooked foods, all type of things on Erica's Best. So keep watching. And I thank you for watching me in 2020. And I hope you continue in 2021. So thanks for stopping thank by you. today. Thanks for coming, thank Mom. You. And thank we'll you. see you next time. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye-bye.